Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we're going to talk about the latest update to Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14, and this is Beta Update 3. Now, this one right here, they're talking about a brand new feature inside of the video player. Now, I already have this feature here, unless if they somehow made a change to it. I believe that they just forgot to put this in the last update inside of that area of everything that was updated. I, for, I think that they forgot to put this there because I technically currently have this, unless if they made a few changes. They're talking about the enhanced layout of the video player controls. It's way easier than before. And I was actually going to make a separate video for this specific fact. And here they're actually outlining it and highlighting it with this update, even though I technically have it, which I'll show you here in just a second. This update here also comes along with a bunch of bug fixes and also a few known issues, which is really some of the same known issues from the update from before. And again, as before with Samsung One UI 6.0, anytime that there is a software update, you're able to choose other applications to update with this. So if any of these are sitting inside of the Galaxy Store, as you are updating your phone to the latest operating system, all of these here that you have selected will update along with it. Now for these specifics down here for the update information, it is uh, Samsung One UI 6.0. It ends in ZWI8. Uh, the size is 1,293 megabytes, which is basically 1.3 gigs. And it still gives you that September 1st security patch. So we're gonna download this here in just one second. And I also wanna show you what they're highlighting with this update, even though I already have it, because this, way, this right here was the last update we had which was beta 2 it was pushed off on august 31st now this one again was fairly large it gave you a bunch of really cool things it even came along with studio which is the video editor so it actually kind of acts like a editing software where you can go back to it at a later date and actually finish your project if you would like to but it doesn't state anywhere in here that you have a enhanced video player now the video player that we are used to is let's say that we take a look at this phone over here the galaxy z fold 5 so when you go through and you hit on this play button, one of the things you can do is you can actually open this one in video player, which is what I actually suggest. It's one of my favorite things. And this is the player here. You can actually change the volume on the right hand side. You can change the brightness on the left hand side, making it brighter or, or dimmer. This is where the play button is. This is where you have, you know, changing of the the video tracks you also have your uh, smart view on the top you can make a gif out of it and then you have a few additional things on the very top so it was very very basic of a player uh, but now what for some reason they're highlighting in this update even though i already have it let's say you go inside of the camera and we go inside of a video now again this looks like from the same thing from before this is the preview inside the gallery but on the top right hand side when you go inside of the video player you're going to see that it's actually way better you have the play and 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 pause in the very middle of the video your screenshot and gif button right is going to be sitting right there but then you have all these buttons down over here where you can actually change the speed from that 0.5 speed all the way up to 2x speed and you got the 1.5 1.25 you got the one so you have all of this stuff right here this one is definitely better you can fast forward it, rewind it just by swiping it on the very bottom of the video. You have your, again, uh, volume control on the right side, brightness control on the left. Now they're talking about this as a highlight for this update, which for some reason I already have. So I don't know if they're just adding this in here now to highlight it because it sounds cool, but it's technically already there. I almost made a separate video talking about it because it's amazing. So now that I technically showed you what's new, we will go back to see if there is any changes, but let's take a look at everything that they have fixed in terms of the bugs. So the improved One UI home crash, they improved sometimes stop problem when switching home screen using app, fixed Bixby call error in certain situations, improved sometimes stop problem when pressing long on home screen, improved the app termination program when entering camera video mode, Improve the problem that Samsung Pay is not executed with swipe gesture. Automatic restart of device care. So it looks as if they're probably going to be adding in the manual setting menu for schedule restart. So right now it's just as a whim. It's You turn it on inside of that device care. It's going to automatically restart for you. You don't know when it's going to be. So it looks as if maybe they added in the schedule again because it was not there with this update here. Uh, improved the shape of notification icon in text message. They fixed the notification bar color errors when running apps on Dex, and then fixed the problem that the routine does not work in when you receive a message condition. And then here are the known issues, pretty much the same as before, talking about how the kids app is, uh, the installation is just not possible, and it sounds as if it'll be possible coming mid-September. 
onboarding failure occurs when login is restarted after Samsung Pass initiation and Samsung account logout. Voice recognition error answer the call while receiving a phone call and Google Assistant error when swipe up in the specific situation. So we're gonna resume this download here. We're gonna go through. I really just kinda of wanted to see what was the known issues. Oh yeah, you wanna make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi network when you are updating. So anyways, so that right there was pretty much everything with this update here. Once this is done, we're gonna come on back. We're gonna take a look at this video player just to see if there is any differences, but technically this is already here, or at least it's on my phone with the last update that we got on August 31st. So maybe they just wanted to show something was new. Maybe people wouldn't have found it, but I already played with it, I found it, and I also use it almost on a daily basis. All right, so this is all the bugs they also fixed. We're now going to install it. Now, once this thing turns right back on, like I said from before, we're gonna take a look to see if that video player has actually changed at all, but that was technically there. They probably forgot to put it in the change log and they wanted to add it in on this one. So it looked like something is new when really there wasn't. I was actually gonna make a video talking about this separately and I just didn't do it in the last couple days. But it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state that if your brand's new here at the channel, Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that this update here, this beta program, especially beta three, this one is released for the Galaxy S23 series, and it's released in the countries of USA, Germany, India, and the UK. So now that the update has been completed, how about we head right back inside of the gallery and what I want to do here is take a look at another video here again and I want to go inside of that video player now I kind of wish that there was a way that you can go through the settings and have video player by you know be turned on by default I just think it looks so much better so here we are everything looks literally the exact same your little buttons for the play speed is going to be on the very bottom which play speed wasn't really there even in the original one before Samsung One UI 6.0. But again, like I stated from before, it looked as if in this change log, it was talking about a brand new feature, but again, was already a part of the last update. I think they just wanted to throw it in there because maybe they thought some people wouldn't be able to find it. And they wanted to show that there was a brand new feature put inside of there. Now, just remember there is still a editor that you're able to go inside of. And with this one, you're able to edit videos. There's even like a thing that's even called a studio that you can go to. This one right here is just the regular video editor. There's a bunch of things that you can do. You can cut it, you can add in, you can splice it, you can change a whole bunch of stuff. You can put in audio, you can change the brightness, you can put in filters, you can put in text. And, but if you go inside of your regular gallery, so this was something that was a part of this update here. So inside of the gallery, let's say that we go all the way back and let's say we take a look at albums, but right over here, if you tap on that little sandwich icon, which is the little menu inside your gallery, this will take you inside of the studio. And the studio is something that they're talking about that was new with the update right before this one. So on August 31st, this is a way that you're able to go through and actually go back into a, a video or a project that you are working on. And then you're able to make some changes to it. You can also save from it. And so, yeah, there's so much things that you can do with it. You can even edit it, save it, delete it. You can play it, all that good stuff. You can also change some of the settings of it, how you want it to be played back. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things inside of the gallery. There's stuff with the video editor, the video player, there's the studio so many different things you can do. Hopefully maybe they can kind of condense all of those at some point. Now, one thing that I almost forgot to do as I was editing this video is I went back inside of the phone and I remember them mentioning something about device care and the auto optimization. Now it stated that they added in the fact that you can actually now put it on schedule, which was something that you're able to do before Samsung One UI 6.0 inside of device care. Now I noticed right here that there's actually now a performance area when beforehand, I don't believe it said anything about performance. It literally just said this option here, which was auto optimization and it either gave you the option to either turn it on or turn it off now here they did add in this portion right here that's called performance profile now we've had this from before but I believe that they have now moved it to this spot because I believe it's to be different with this little update here. So now this is where that performance profile is located where you can switch it between standard as well as light. And then right below that is auto optimization. And it also lets you know when the last auto memory cleaning happened and when the last auto restart happened, which is pretty cool. Beforehand, it actually didn't tell us the last time it did it. You either had to turn it on, turn it off or put in a schedule. So now when you have this part right here where it says auto restart, you can turn this one on, which basically just states restart when needed, which was the only option from before. And now you actually have your schedule back. 
Now, most of the times it'll happen maybe on like a Monday and a Thursday, 3 a.m. Maybe you can do it on like a Tuesday, Thursday or a Tuesday, Friday. Or maybe you don't want to really do it during the week. You would just want to do it once and maybe you want to do it on a Saturday or a Sunday. Maybe on a Saturday because hopefully that is the time that you are just relaxing and you don't care if your phone is basically being restarted with all of the apps starting from fresh and you have to basically put in your pin or credentials to get back in your phone. Now, I would highly suggest just doing this one at least once or twice a week. You can do it on like a Monday and a Saturday or you can just do it once on a Saturday if it's on the weekend. So this way it doesn't mess up any of your applications during the work week. But again, all up to you. Uh, I'm just going to maybe, I guess, do it Tuesday and Saturday for my little refresh because I work from home, so I'm good to go. Basically, just going to automatically restart your phone. It's going to close out of all those applications that are just open in the background doing absolutely nothing, giving your phone a little bit of a break. So just remember, if you're looking for this update, you want to go inside of the settings, scroll all the way down, head inside of software update, and then you go to download and install. And right here, it's just going to show you your last update if you ever want to see what was new if you wanted to retake a look at it. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.